Open Heavens on the Go, Saturday, May 22nd, 2021. Topic, Make Your Request Known to God, Part 2. Memory Verse, John 14, 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14, 14. Bible reading, Esther 8. 1 to 8. On that day did King Ahasuerus give the house of Haman, the Jews' enemy, unto Esther the queen. And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had told what he was unto her. And the king took, took off his ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it unto Mordecai. And Esther set Mordecai over the house of Haman. And Esther spake yet again before the king, and fell down at his feet, and besought him with tears to put away the mischief of Haman the Agagite, and his device that he had devised against the Jews. Then the king held out the golden scepter toward Esther. So Esther arose and stood before the king, and said, if it please the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seem right before the king, and I be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse the letters devised by Haman the son of Hamadatha the Agagite, which he wrote to destroy the Jews, which were in all the king's provinces. For how can I endure to see the evil that shall come up unto my people? Or how can I endure to see the destruction of my kindred? Then the king Ahasuerus said unto Esther the queen, and to Mordecai the Jew, Behold, I have given Esther the house of Haman, and him they have hanged upon the gallows, because he laid his hand upon the Jews. Write ye also for the Jews, as it liken you, in the king's name, and seal it with the king's ring. For the writing which is written in the king's name, and sealed with the king's ring, may no man reverse. The message. The Bible reading of today talks about the excellency of wisdom. As powerful as money is, there are things it cannot buy. However, wisdom can get you almost everything you need in life. While you may be able to afford a waterbed, money cannot buy you sleep. It is the Lord who gives his beloved sleep. Psalm 127 verse 2. Money can buy education, but it will never be able to buy wisdom. How do you explain medical doctors who indulge in chain smoking despite being fully aware of the adverse effect on their health. They are educated, but are not wise enough to abstain from a potential source of death. Lawyers have been caught in criminal acts. They have legal education, but are not wise enough to resist criminal tendencies. Only God gives perfect wisdom, and we must turn to him for it. Solomon knew this, and that was why he asked God for wisdom. He later confirmed that wisdom is fundamental to living a successful life in Proverbs 4, 7-8. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. When Solomon got divine wisdom, all other benefits followed. Where there is wisdom, there is wealth. During the reign of King Solomon, other things will come to, other kings will come to listen to his words of wisdom, and on every visit they brought along fortunes to bless Solomon with. First Kings 10 23 to 25.
When Esther was asked to make her request known to the king, she did not ask for peanuts. She did not ask for an additional crown, jewelry, boxes of clothes, and so on. Rather, she asked for the preservation of her life and that of the Jews in the kingdom whose lives were in jeopardy. When there is life, there is hope. Queen Esther knew this and thus went for it. What do you really want? Ask God for wisdom today and every other thing shall be added unto you in Jesus' name. James 1, 5. According to Proverbs 9, 8 to 12, it takes wisdom to heed correction, especially when it comes from the word of God. It is also wisdom to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. As you do, blessings shall be added unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer point. Father, Please give me godly wisdom to be able to pray aright. Give me wisdom to live an acceptable life for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible reading in one year, Judges 12 to 13. Him for today, great is thy faithfulness. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.